Hi guys, Leah from Blast Away. I'm going to show you the pole system. A lot of people are asking about this, so rather than keep repeating myself, we'll have this video to uh, drop the link to people whenever they're asking. So, Gardner's pole systems, carbon fibre. This one started out as a SLX 39. And then what we do is you take your first section out, number one section, they're all numbered. So like this last one here is number 10. You do away with number one. And you buy this tube fitting, that's also from Gardner's. So the tube fitting, slots in number two, only slots in number two. And locks in place so it's nice and solid, okay? So they're the two things that you need from Gardner's pole systems, which are based in Cornwall, St. Austell, Cornwall. You can do it with any of their poles, really. You don't have to buy this one specific pole. <coughs> this is the pole that we use. So it started out as an SLX 39. So we've done away with the first section. So that's like, what, six foot, maybe seven foot. And then what we've done with them is we've added on two extensions to bring that pole up to 45 foot. Okay, so going on to the hose and fittings. This hose is thermoplastic hose, rated to 200 bar. Not sure of the temperature rating, but we don't really need to go over 90 or 100 uh, degrees Celsius. <coughs> um, pressure wise, when we're running it, never really go over 150 bar to be honest. We have done, um, but we're always really low pressure. 110, 120 bar. Onto the end fitting. We'll go back to the other end of the, the hose in a minute to tell you the fitting on that one. But well, this top fitting, what we've got here to come into this. So we've got an M22 female with a stainless steel thread inside there. We always use stainless steel on these because they last a lot longer. So that's your female. <coughs> so onto the bottom. Come in this way again. So we've got a quarter male thread bsp on this fitting here you got a doughty washer in between and then this is a male q spigot just going back onto the thermoplastic holes you'll get it from plenty of suppliers but we use lancashire holes we're based in bolton so you can speak to andy or conrad to get that uh, Mosmatics, Ben Marriott or Richard at Jetwash Direct. Um, other fittings that we've used on this pole, specifically the elbow fitting, we always use Damien at Q Washers. He sorts out the washers in between, um, gets that nice and bonny for us. Uh, triggers, you know, most suppliers will sort you the, the Sutton triggers out. Come into this, Frank. So, this is one we use. ST2635 stainless steel stainless steel throughout stainless steel on the inside there of the female Q right so onto the fittings for the top of the pole is it still playing okay so you get your elbow swivel standard fan jet and in between there, we've got a washer. So you take this apart, put a washer in between, tighten that back up, and that's nice and solid. So you're keeping that angle. So it's all about the angle at the top of the pole then. Counterbalancing. So the weight of the pole dropping down at the top of the pole and the back force of the pressure of the water. So male M22 thread. Screw that into the top. You wanna use that. Alternatively, 12 inch Mosmatic, again, male thread on the M22. We've locked this nice and tight in place, but we can bend it, you know, a bit, bit of a force there to bend it, get it into a nice um, angle, what you want to use it at, depending on your trajectory of where you're working away from the building. Again, screw that into the top. OK, 
connects up your trigger. It's the carbon fibre ball. And just to add guys, something that I didn't really cover in the video there. Obviously you've got the fan jet on the nozzle and you can use a Mosmatic. You can also use a turbo nozzle or you can use a low pressure nozzle and you can send chemical up the pole. So by, you know, via downstreaming and things like that. So there's various different fittings that you can you know, make up yourself and then put to the end of the pole. Um, one other thing I slipped up on throughout the video there is when I said Ben Marriott, Ben Marriott is from Rutland Pumps and Richard is from Jetwash Direct, that's two different companies. I did actually make it sound like Ben Marriott was from Jetwash Direct but that's not the case. Thanks for watching guys.